Hello, I'm Dr. Cesara Maria Latku and I'm happy to be part of StarMed Medical Education Programs team. Today I'm presenting how to approach hormone replacement therapy in ACOSCI. This video is for educational purpose only. Who can benefit from hormone replacement therapy? Women without contraindications who are experiencing menopausal symptoms that are impacting their quality of life and where the treatment's benefits outweigh the risks. Before entering the room, closely review the instruction provided, use the time to organize and think about different scenarios. We should take these questions in consideration when we organize the things in our mind before entering the room. How did the patient come to know about hormonal replacement therapy? How much does the patient know about this therapy? How does the patient know that this therapy is good for her? Can the patient benefit from hormone replacement therapy? What are the patient's concerns and preferences? How does this situation impact her quality of life and offer support? When entering the room, read the examiner and the patient, introduce yourself, proceed to the patient, confirm patient's name and age and ask how she would like to be addressed and also assure confidentiality. Ask what brings the patient here today? How would she describe her general health? And briefly explain the next steps. Check for menopausal symptoms using a quick questionnaire asking any changes in your periods, are you having any hot flashes, any vaginal dryness or pain or sexual concerns, any bladder issues or incontinence, how is your sleep, how is your mood, and if we obtain yes to any questions from 1 to 4, means that she might be a candidate for treatment and further exploration and assessment is warranted. Assess menstrual history, and here is important to ask lots of details, obstetrical history, gynecological history, sexual history, any screening tests like pap test, mammography, and assess risk factors from past medical history, medication, family history, lifestyle, and social habits. It is very important to take into consideration any risk factors like personal history or family history of breast or endometrial cancer, personal history or family history of thromboembolism, personal history of acute liver disease, migraine, coronary artery disease, cerebrovascular disease and also cardiovascular risks like dyslipidemia, hypertension, diabetes, smoking, high body mass index, limited physical activity and so on. Rule out the contraindications like any undiagnosed abnormal vaginal bleeding, any symptoms of active thrombolytic disorder like deep vein thrombosis and or pulmonary embolism, acute phase myocardial infraction, coronary heart disease, active liver disease with abnormal liver function tests, active or suspected breast, endometrial or ovarian cancer. Ask what does the patient know about hormone replacement therapy? Discuss the options and the risks versus benefits. Hormone replacement therapy options are Estrogen therapy, progesterone therapy needed in addition to estrogen for endometrium protection in women who have a uterus, the combination and other options as well. Route of administration. The patient can use local estrogen therapy, a cream, gel, ovule, ring applied or delivered inside the vagina for direct symptom relief. Is prescribed for women who experience vaginal dryness or discomfort with intercourse and may be required as an add-on to systemic therapy. A systemic therapy is the most effective treatment for menopausal symptoms including vasomotor symptoms. Estrogens are available as pill, transdermal patch, gel, ring, spray or cream. Progesterones are available as pill, transdermal patch in combination with estrogen and intrauterine devices. Hormone replacement therapy should be an individualized treatment because there is no specific time frame for hormone therapy and they can continue as long as they need to help with their symptoms. 
Healthy women who began treatment before the age of 60 in most cases can continue on hormone replacement therapy as long as they undergo regular assessments regarding risks versus benefits. There is insufficient evidence to suggest initiating hormone replacement therapy in women over 60 years old to prevent congestive heart diseases or fractures. It is very important to discuss risks versus benefits. Women who are healthy and experiencing menopause-related symptoms like vasomotor symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, palpitations, and other symptoms at the average age of natural menopause can benefit from hormonal replacement therapy as it provides excellent symptom relief and poses a low risk. Common side effects like nausea, bloating, weight gain, fluid retention, mood swings, breakthrough bleeding, headaches, and breast tenderness may appear as well. There are increased risks associated with the duration of use and the age of the patient at initiation. For women over 60 years of age or more than 10 to 20 years from the onset of menopause, the ratio is less favorable due to the greater risks of coronary heart disease, stroke, venous thromboembolism, and dementia. There is a risk of breast cancer associated with the use of estrogen progesterone therapy for more than 5 years. For estrogen-only therapy, there is a small increase in the risk of stroke and blood clots, but there was no increased risk of heart attacks or breast cancer. Briefly, we should recommend lifestyle modifications and non-hormonal therapy options. Educate the patient regarding when she has to seek medical help, like any emergency, any signs of blood clots, and so on. Reassess the patient concerns and understanding, and don't forget to offer support whenever you can. Thank you very much for your attention.